Hello students, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to study about the regulation of respiration. Now see carefully, human being has significant ability to maintain and moderate. We can maintain also and we can change the respiratory rhythm so, so that it can fulfill the demand of the body tissues. So we know how to maintain and how to moderate the, our respiratory rhythm. How it is done? It is done by the neural system. It is done by the neural system. Now for this, just try to understand one diagram. See here, better respiratory control centers in the brainstem. In the brainstem. Okay, better see, focus the diagram. This is in the medullary regions. Two respiratory groups are present, dorsal respiratory group and ventral respiratory group. Clear, but these are present in the medulla region. And in the pons, pneumotaxic center is present. Our focus is on this only. So respiratory rhythm center are dorsal respiratory group and ventral respiratory group. The specialized center present in the medulla region of the brain are called respiratory rhythm center. So respiratory rhythm center, if they ask the question, please tell me what will be your answer. They are present where you will say it is present in the medulla region. Clear? Which center? Respiratory rhythm center. And they are the one who are regulating the respiratory rhythm. That is why their name is rhythm center. And what are the respiratory rhythm center you have to learn? Dorsal respiratory group and ventral respiratory group. Learn better? Now see next. Another center which is present in the pons, I think so I focused it also, it is present in the pons that is known as pneumotaxic center. It is called pneumotaxic center and its function is also, it will moderate, means it will check the inspiration rate, means it will cut short the inspiration rate so that the respiration rate increases. Its pneumotaxic center function is to moderate, means to adjust the function of respiratory rhythm center. So who is moderating the function of respiratory rhythm center? That is pneumotaxic center. Clear? And who is moderating the respiratory rhythm? That is by respiratory rhythm center. Understood? Question languages are clear. If suppose I ask you who is the one who is moderating, who is moderating the function of respiratory rhythm center? What is your answer? Pneumotaxic center. If I ask you who is moderating the respiratory rhythm, then you will say answer is respiratory rhythm center. Question is clear? So pneumotaxic center is the one which will moderate the function of rhythm center. And neural signal from this center, means from pneumotaxic center, can reduce the duration of inspiration. Normally, inspiration is of 2 seconds and expiration is of 3 seconds. It will reduce it means it will make less than two seconds. As a result, you can alter the respiratory rate. So I think so this paragraph is clear to you. Understood better? Now, second is they are focusing on the neural system. Second, they are focusing on the neural system. They have already focused. This is clear. Now next, they are focusing on the chemosensitive area. This is a chemosensitive area which is present near the respiratory rhythm center. It is situated adjacent to the respiratory rhythm center. Means it is present near the medulla. That is why this chemosensitive area is known as central chemoreceptor. It is known as central chemoreceptor. They are the one which are located near the medulla and they are sensitive to carbon dioxide and hydrogen ions. For this, not for oxygen, please focus. Okay, they are sensitive to carbon dioxide and hydrogen ions. And if suppose this increase, increase in these substance can activate the center. If these concentration is increasing, carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion, then chemosensitive area is activated, which will act, send the signal to the rhythm center to make necessary adjustment in the process so that these substance can be eliminated. Now, another chemosensitive area is present, receptors are present in the peripheral area that is known as peripheral chemoreceptors. Let me show you the diagram, wait. Now see better, 
receptors which are associated with aortic arch. So you can see this is the aortic arch. You can check the diagram. Here the receptors are present and they are associated with carotid arteries. So you can see this is carotid arteries. So receptors are located here. Okay, carotid bodies and aortic bodies. They will also recognize changes in the carbon dioxide and proton concentration and give signal to the rhythm center for remedial action. So in this video, total if you check, if you see the summary of this video, you will find that there are one is your neural system, another is your receptors. Now, neural system, if you see neural system, respiratory rhythm center in medulla and it's present in the pons. Clear, beta? And receptors, chemoreceptors, one is present near the medulla. We will say that is central chemoreceptor and this is one which is present in the aortic arch and carotid artery. We say that is peripheral chemoreceptors. So, total three things you have to remember. Once again, I highlighted one is neural mechanism, one is your chemosensitive. Clear? And chemosensitive, two you have to remember, one is present adjacent to the rhythm center and one which is present in the aortic arch and carotid arteries. Clear, Vita? And for neural system, please remember for neural system, you have to remember present in the medulla, respiratory rhythm center and uh, present in the pons, that is pneumotaxic center. I hope this video it will be helpful for you to learn the regulation and I focus the question language also. If suppose they ask you who is the one who is moderating the function of respiratory rhythm center, what will be your answer, Vita? Who is moderating the function of respiratory rhythm center? Your answer will be pneumotaxic center. And who is the one who is moderating the respiratory rhythm? That you will say it is done by the respiratory rhythm center. Remaining is easy. Only very important, next very, very important line, role of oxygen in this regulation is insignificant. We give importance only to carbon dioxide and proton. Role of oxygen is insignificant. This is very, very important line. So I hope so this video might be helpful for you. You are preparing for your competitive exams. Thanks for watching.